Now that we've done all of our pre-work, we're going to begin to create our sheet definition files. The first one we're going to do is a full plan sheet definition file. And so we're going to take our plan or profile start seed DGN file. We're going to make a copy of that in our sheet seeds folder, and we're going to paste it. And then we're going to rename it. We're going to call this plan sheet definitions DGN. And then we'll go ahead and open that file. Once in the file, go ahead and switch to the Open Roads Drawing Production task and the Drawing Production tab and select on the place name boundary. Choose the Civil Plan icon. Drawing seed will be none because we're actually making a drawing seed. Change your detail scale to the same size as we've been working with consistently. And set your name here. This is important. I typically do the sheet size and then what it is we're drawing. Uh, but you can put anything in here you want to. And then I typically repeat that on the group name for the plan only example. Then on the start location, you can select in there and pick the alignment. Hit the left arrow. And then this is a metric full size sheet that we have set up on our A1 for 350 meters. So I'll put 350 for the stop, which matches up with the length. The left and right offsets represent the height of that rectangle that we drew in our cell library for a plan only sheet. And that rectangle was actually 350 meters long and 200 meters high for a plan only sheet. And so I've divided the left and right offset each by half to provide that. Make sure to get your negative sign on the left side. Turn on create drawing and show dialog. The chords are for if we have an arced alignment that is not tangent, it will make that boundary look smoother the more that you have chords set higher. And so typically I found 20 to be a pretty reasonable number. Once you have your dialog filled in, select one time in your plan view to start the placement of the first boundary. Select it again to choose the ending and then select it one more time to actually open the create drawing dialog. Verify that your mode is set to plan. The name should match up with what you've been putting in for your name of your drawing seed. This will be a saved view that gets created. Your drawing seed will be set to none again as we're making this our discipline. I'm going to type in a discipline here for civil. And then for a purpose, I'm going to select plan view. Our drawing model location was set in our earlier videos in this series. And so if I select it, you'll see it goes right to our C2D metric drawing. And then when I select that, I get the option to select the model within the drawing. Set our scale for our paper to drawing ratio. And this is the annotation group that we would pick for plan view, which is still in development and will be released at a later time. But this will be, for example, a place that we can take advantage of setting up things like match lines. So that's our drawing model. Then we also need to set up our sheet model. Again, if we select that drawing that we set up earlier, and its model within that drawing. And then we want to change our detail scale to match up in our sheet model. Everything else here should remain as is. And then we're going to turn on open model and select OK. Now that we're in our sheet model, I'm going to switch over to the drawing task mode home. And I'm going to select place cell. And I'm going to choose the cell library that has our border in there. And so I'm going to double click on the A1 plan. And I'm going to place that. And now you can see the significance of my cell origin offset. So we'll place that down there. And then the next thing we want to do is line up our boundaries. And so we're going to go to 
our attachment tools for references. And I'm going to select to move reference from the bottom left corner to our boundary that we set up in our title block. Now we can close that dialog. The next thing I want to do is I want to grab our link to our boundary and just move it over here by holding down the mouse key. And then we want to move the corners to snap to our location. We also want to turn off now our construction class, which was our border within our cell. And then we want to save settings. I do like to review the properties of my boundary. And so I select it. You see that we have our drawing boundary here. Verify that the detail scale is right. You'll see that I have it set to a civil plan. And you can go down here and look at the different settings. So all of that looks good. Close that. And again, I'm going to save settings. And then I like to go back to my drawing model. And I like to do a fit view here. I'll expand the view and do a fit view. Save those settings. Go back to my default. And in my default, I like to go ahead then and reset the profile just for consistency. It's not required for this particular seed, but just like to get in the habit. And then I will save those settings. And that is all there is to it, to creating that particular sheets definition file for creating a plan only for an A1 size sheet. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.